you want to learn a really good way to learn how to get rhythm in working a topwater bait? April 1, April 1, that's my day, April Fool's Day. You know, I really gave it some thought about doing a little trick and maybe uh, pulling a little April Fool's joke on y'all and then going, April Fool's, but you know, I, I thought about it and I thought that just wouldn't be nice. I mean, we're here talking about something uh, really, really great, something that helps us all every single day, getting into God's Word. And, and I actually thought about saying, well, I've done this for three months and I'm just going to throw it in a towel. I'm just going to throw in the towel. I've never missed a day off for three months. And, but it's just too much work, too much effort. YouTube doesn't like these short videos. It's uh, hurting the entire channel. And, uh, but then I thought, you know, I read those comments every single day. I know that reading this every day is helping me. And, uh, and I get so many great comments how it's so beneficial for so many people. I know a lot of y'all are sharing it with lots and lots of your friends and your family and, and people at business and at work. And, and uh, it's just great to start a day in God's Word. So there's no April Fool joke today. The only really April Fool's joke, you're probably looking at it. That's it. <laughs> April 1, our scripture is from 2 Thessalonians 2.16. 2 Thessalonians 2.16. God loved us, and through his grace, he gave us a good hope and encouragement that continues forever. A good hope and encouragement that continues forever. All righty. You know, it's the time of the year when it's topwater time. So, fishing is air spook. Topwater bait is a tiring but productive method of fishing. Some of the biggest fish you'll ever catch on a topwater you can catch on that bait. Sometimes it's critical to work the bait just at the right pace in order to tr trigger a strike. Years ago when I was teaching my daughter Sherry how to fish his air spook, she figured out a way to work that bait with a consistent walk. You gotta work his air spook back and forth, back, forth, back, forth. Walking the dog is what they call it. Walking that air spook back and forth. She figured out a way to do it really consistently and once she got a bite, she could repeat that exact same walk. And what she would do, she would sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. And that would be her deal. She would be singing that and working that spook. And she'd make the bait, walk back to the boat, to the rhythm of that classic children's song. Working the bait to the worms of that song not only helps you work the bait at the right pace, but it reminds you of that wonderful truth. Jesus loves me, this I know. So when you're working that Zara Spook, that's exactly the way to do it right there. Kind of use that little children's song. You want to get that rhythm just right, working that Zara Spook back and forth. That can do it. That can do it. All right, let's look at our tip this week. Obviously, I bet it's about topwater fishing. When fishing a topwater bait, when fishing a topwater bait, let the bait stay still for a few seconds before we're starting to work the boat back to the bait back to the boat. Looky there. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. He's trying to fight my coat, and he's trying to eat my coat. Melbourne, oh, he's trying to pull it down. He's reaching up here with his feet to pull my coat down, and now he's going to walk off with my coat. What are you doing, Melbourne? What are you, Melbourne, what are you doing? What are you doing, Melbourne? You little monster, you little monster, you little monster. Hey, you little monster. Oh, you want to give me some sugar now? You want to kiss and make up after you about wreck my coat? Crazy little guy. <laughs> oh, now you're going to go see Chris, huh? Why don't you just try to be nice? Why don't you just try to be nice for a little bit? Oh, there's Lucy. How you doing, Lucy girl? Hmm? The deer are shedding right now really, really badly. You look at the, watch the hair come off of her. I think I want to do that. Right there. Look at that. See all this white coming off? See all this white just comes off. We brush her and look at that. It just comes off in bunches. They're getting ready to lose their winter coat. Look at that. Look at that. How that hair comes off. Isn't that something? Look at that. You just take that right there. Look at that. They're losing their winter coat. See that? And I'm just pulling big handfuls of it off. Some of you, some of you guys might be like me. You might be able to identify with that, right? <laughs> all right. We was talking about letting that bait lie still. 
We was talking about letting that bait. Late by, like, bait. <laughs> we were talking about letting that bait lie still as soon as it hits the water. So when you throw it out there, and here's a good tip that you can use on it: let it lay still until the ripples completely lay down. In other words, when you throw it out there and the ripples that go out when the bait lands in the water, don't move the bait until there are no more ripples. Now, if it's dead calm, if it's dead calm like it is a lot of times, you're gonna have to leave it there several seconds before all those ripples go away. If if you get in a situation, if you get in a situation where, if you get in a situation where it's pretty windy, like it is today, the wind's blowing pretty good. The wind's blowing pretty good. Uh, you can start working it pretty quickly. But what happens when you leave that bait set? A lot of times, that splash it hits in the water, and it, it alerts a bass that there's something going on. So it eases up there to it, and then that bait's just laying there, laying there, laying there. And a lot of times, the very first twitch of that bait is when you get to strike. So a good rule of thumb: let that bait lie still until all the ripples die down. Hey guys and girls, go out there and have you a great time, a great day today. It is a brand new start of a new month and I think my favorite month of the entire year. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>